put on a little light for you. Go down that way. What do you think of her? Beautiful. Very beautiful. Dashboard came from eBay. Oh, yeah? Top mechanism came from eBay. Here, walk in here next to your car there. Well, here, I'll even do one better for you. How about this? Yeah. See? Pillows and everything. Oh, yeah. We got all that stuff. Well, you check that gorgeous dashboard. You got to have a shot of that. This is a dashboard. It's just the way we bought it on eBay. I had to fight five people to get it. Really? In the back seat, huh? Little horn, little horny. Little horn. Pretty nice. Now, there's no chrome on this car because I wanted it to be an army vehicle. So everything got painted over as if it was when you and I were little kids and we saw the, the army cars right. on the, on the, when the, when the, uh, the uh, National Guard would have the little enclaves on right. the reserve on the weekend. Right. Well, this is the way. So, it where's the been. other license plate? You got? Oh, you had to um, actually put a real license plate. Can't on. Put, I had to get a regular license plate, but hopefully on October fifth, I'm going down with the other plates. You want a shot of the plates? Um, I could, sure. You know, I think I might be able to arrange that. I have to go around the other side first. Okay. Following you around You're the other side. Actually, shooting that whole thing, huh? I think I am. Good. Oh, look at this other car. Oh, that's a '23 Stud sedan. Yeah. Oh, that's this '23 Stud sedan. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, yeah, there's. You got those, uh. Swap meet. Antique automobile swap meet. Matching pair. Let me put this on the car for you. So That's all right, just hold on. Complete with Chinese clips. Oh, yeah. Look how pretty that is. Well, there's one right here. Yeah. They're a matching pair. Okay. Very nice. California, and 1933. You're in a car. Just so happens to be. Perfect. Over. And so I never thought I'd be able to find ones that had the patina like this because right, right, right. they're not new, but they're not old. And this thing, this thing's a... Oh, this is a 1923 Stutz. Comes to this, uh, if, you, if you have any knowledge of cars, it's the Stutz Aircat factory. And this was uh, the first time they went into six, six cylinder closed passenger cars. 1923 was the first year of their uh, overhead valve six engines. Here, just walk down there and open the door. Oh, you like that one. Here. Come look and see how pretty they made it. I can even put little lights on inside. Oh, look at that. Where do I put a little light on for you? Oh. Does this door open up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now you want to watch that door against the green car because that would break my heart. So here you are in this car. Yeah. Here, take your hat off there for a second. No, no that hat. Oh, which hat? One oh, on the driving the wheel. Okay, boss. So I can see the driving wheel. Yes. This is indeed a piece of art. It is. That's good. Boy, that was a that's a that's a steel driving. Oh, this is a tank. This is a real fucking tank. Uh, the, the and there's two rear view mirrors? Yes, sir. Why were there two rear view I mirrors? I have no idea. But hmm. I've enjoyed them. And here's an old uh, thing on here that tells you when the... Uh, when the, the last load. time it was a scoochie scoochie. Yeah, yeah, right, right. The last time... They, and here's they, the door. It's all wood. And yeah. The whole. Car, this is a wooden car. And this is when you learn what they meant by sheet metal because... What it is, is it's a wooden vehicle with sheets of metal nailed on to the outside perimeters. Right. Let me just go to the front of this. All right. Let me, let me turn those lights off. You go ahead, turn the lights off. I can see that the battery's getting a little low. You know, not real bright, bright. When's the last time this thing's been out and driving around? Um, I got it back from him you know, sometime in June. Well, so this has been down to the shop. Uh, yeah, after he, after that dude in Burbank finished this, I said, do you want to keep working on my cars? Uh, and let me tell you why, so you can put this on record. I want to spend a bunch of my children's <laughs> inheritance before I die. Every one of these cars that I own is going to be on the road again. 
instead of sitting in a, a, a warehouse in El Monte or Covina waiting for me to retire. That's I right. ain't gonna. Right. But I want to come down here and say, what car you want to drive? Right. Okay, here's an example. All three of these cars start, and there's one across the street in Golden, right? Now, why didn't you drive that one to Vegas? Because uh, it was an El Monte, and oh, I want okay. to leave now. Right, right. And I don't like that car. That oh, yeah? car is too light. It's like a Model T Ford. And it's, it's, uh, what it's is like beautiful. A, it's a 96. 96, and it's a, for quick quick action in town. Sell it. But when I would drive it down to... Let's a, walk to the front of this. Yes, sir. I can't Can we walk it. that way? Well, no, maybe I can. No, I can't. Yes, I can. No, I'm trapped. I have to let you go there. <clears throat> Up you go. Perfectly done. New top on that car. Oh, there is a new top on this car. Yeah. Wow. didn't have one. I think we were here and saw it before ever. Here's the mighty Stutz. Motometer, yeah. Motometer. It's got a little valve in it. Oh, it shows you uh Well, here they are. Here's both cars. And your modern car. <laughs> and um and my golden car across the street. Your golden car across the street. A little old austere lady that didn't even buy a radio or a clock when she bought an old Omega with fancy wheels and hubcaps and fancy trim. But no radio and no clock. Okay, so we'll say adieu for now. Okay.